For our final part of our Dreamweaver project, we're going to edit our CSS. So that's going to have some changes with the color. It's going to change some of our font. And that's pretty much it. And it's going to look pretty cool at the end, I think. So the first thing I did is I went on my slideshow and I made sure I had the hex codes for all of my different ones. If you can't see it very well, you can, you can always expand it and make the image look a little bit bigger. And so you can see it a little bit more clearly. And I have gone and ahead and typed it down here. So I have all of mine, so I can just copy and paste them. So for my, so if you have your Dreamweaver open and you have, you can look at the screen. I'll start with one where I can see everything at once. Let's see if I can do that. I don't think any of them let me. Um, Okay, so for this one, so I've got a header, a footer. I have, this is called a sidebar. This is called a nav or navigation menu. And then this white, all this white area is called a body. And if you look over on the right side of your screen, you'll see where it says CSS styles. And these allow us to change all of our HTML uh, pages at once by using our CSS. And what you need to do is make sure that you're clicked on all. All allows you to, to do all of them at once. If you're just on current, you're only going to do one page at a time, and that's going to waste it's a waste of time. And also, sometimes you'll, it'll mess you up a little bit. But it's important to know that you can do them individually. If you want one page to be a little bit different than the rest of them, that's fine. But go ahead and start with all. So the first thing I'm going to change is the color of my header. So right now it's it's a that green color. The way what you're going to do is go down to header and you'll see where it has the color and then it has where you can put the hex code for the color that you want to put into it. I'm going to go back to my slideshow and find I think I want to make my header to be light blue. So I'm going to copy the hex code or you can just type it in. That, that'll work too. I'm going to go over here I'm going to hit paste and hit enter and it changes it. Pretty nice. I think I picked the wrong one. Is that green? Yeah. And you just double check if you, it looks a little bit wrong. I think that should be a B instead of an eight. So I'm going to go back over here and fix that. So it'll be the right color blue and see, again, you can always just change it. See, there it is. That looks nice. So once you've, you've, uh, styled it in all, it should change all of them at once, which is pretty cool. And let me scroll up so I can see. Yes, all of them have been done, so that looks pretty cool. Okay, the next thing I want to uh, style would be my navigation menu. And you're going to need to go to, if you scroll down, you'll see there's unordered list. We need the one that has the green in it. And I'm going to style mine, so that's going to be ul.nav, a hover, ul.nav, this long one. You're going to click on it. Oh, I think I accidentally changed the color on accident. There it is. So we're going to change this to, what color do I want it? I'm going to name my, change my navigation menu to maybe this green color. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this, copy, go back. And I want to paste it in. That changes. Change it here as well, the one above. And paste. And there it changes it. It's kind of cool. And it should change all of them at once, which it did. Not sure why that turns kind of pink, but I guess this is whenever you highlight it. So I've got that green blue, I've got this green. I'm going to change next i want to change this little menu right here or it's called a contain uh yeah sidebar is this little colored area i'm going to change that one to i don't know i think maybe blue as well would be cool so i'm going to make sure that i get this i remember that it has a, a b in it over here to container or sidebar and then change that to a B and then that's also blue and then I'm, I want to change my footer and I'm going to make that one pink I think that dark pink color 
So I'm going to go and get the color for dark pink. Copy Dreamweaver. And then footer is over here. And I can paste it in. And let's see. Ooh, it's kind of bright, but I kind of like it. And then finally, I want to change the body to that light pink. And I'm going to go grab it. And you can always play around with it. If you don't like the colors, you can always change them. It's not set in stone, but try to come up with something that's a nice color scheme. We'll see how this looks. So let me change the, um, that's going to be the container is the next part I'm going to do. Let me find it. And so right now it's white. I'm going to change it. And make that like a kind of a pink color. And it's a little bit <laughs> flashy colors, but I kind of like it. I think I might make it a little bit different if, if I was going to do it again. But as you see here, that because we have a transparent background on our logo, that no matter what color I change it, it's going to kind of work with that. Um, next, I want us to go to body. And I want us to change the color of our text to the dark color that you put on your on your color list. So I'm going to make change that dark all my text to dark blue. And simply go over here to color. Make sure you don't do background color, just do color. And I'm going to enter. And it changes all of my colors to that dark blue. And it looks kind of nice. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> so finally, I want us to change our fonts. So right now it should be in, I believe, Verdana. If it's not, that's fine. You can go ahead and go make sure you're inside body where there's font family. You're going to right click on it. Go to edit and then you can see there's many different font families. I want you to kind of play around with them and look at them. I'm just going to try a couple. If you hit apply, you can see them as they're different. You can change the size if you like. Maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe a little bit bigger than that. That's kind of too big, but you can play around with the font size. You can play around with the font families. I like this Arial. It's a little bit dark. And I really do encourage you to look at some different ones and find the one you really like. And I, I like this one. And I would, if, if I, once I find the one I like, I would hit OK. And then you can look and see that it's changed all of your pages, the fonts. And whenever you're finished, you can go ahead and hit File, Save All, and then I will show you how to turn it in.